guys, my name is Patrick. Um, my Instagram name is ChefCV2. Um, this is my 2021 Accord. Um, I had never thought about modding this car like the way it is now. I bought it because it looked cool and it was comfortable. I didn't fit in the Civic, felt like it was too tight. So I bought that Accord. And then one of my homies had one too, fully built, and I, he told me like, get on it and uh, try to see how it is. And I got on it and I was surprised with the power that it had. And from there it was mod after another, and then here I am, full bolt-on, uh, Type R Turbo, tuned by Derek Robinson of IMW. Um, I'm pushing right now 26 PSI at E32. I haven't dyno the car yet. Um, planning to do so soon to find out what the numbers are. I can't guess the horsepower, but from the way it runs, the way it drives, I'm pretty sure Derek D Rob, um, as he's known for, um, dialed it in. It runs smooth, runs fast, runs powerful. Um, pretty much, I've done everything to the car you can do except methanol. Um, I have a drilled fuel pipe. Um, and custom tune but other than that this is it um, I don't think I'm gonna do any more mods from now on I'm probably just gonna do for, um, uh, for the cosmetics from the front I'm gonna start with the S factor fabrication dual lip kit um, OEM plus side corners and then performance wise I have a strut bar a catch can Flex fuel kit with upgraded flex fuel lines from JSR. Um, custom burnt titanium inlet from PRL. The inlet was burnt by Kuya Fabrication. Um, PRL intake HVI1. I have a drill fuel pipe mod that we drill the fuel line that goes into the fuel rail for more a little bit more fuel. Uh, I'm running Tane Flex Z coilovers. Um, I have a Type R turbo. Type R arm, PRL downpipe, uh, catted. I have the P2P uh, black blankets. Then I have ch uh, PRL charge pipe, the whole kit from the top to the bottom to the hot side. Uh, I have the Hasport 62A motor mounts. And PRL in their cooler. And that should be it for the mods. I'm custom, I'm custom tuned again by Derek Robinson of IMW. Uh, I'm running K Tuner V2. And um, right now 26 PSI on E32. I'm running um, SSR GTX 04 gunmetal um, with um, Project Kicks um, R40 lugs. Um, the tires are 265 35. Um, Advance Apex. Um, the side skirts are Yofer. I have the little trim piece here, OEM, OEM Plus. I have the Yofer rear spat. And then I have the Yofer rear diffuser. And then I'm running a thermal R&D exhaust. Uh, I'm sponsored by Purell uh, USA for oil. And also my uh, mechanic is um, Honda guys. They've been taking care of me ever since. They're one of the best mechanics out there that you can trust. Everything that I've done to the car, they've done it. Um, and also I'm detailed by Mint Auto Detailing, which is owned by my best friend, um, Jawi. And that's pretty much it. It's ceramic coated. I wrapped the roof black. Uh, a little bit about the interior. I haven't done much. That's one of my major uh, plans this year. I'm um, trying to get um, Recaro seats, I'm um, trying to get um, carbon fiber inserts and probably different carpet um, and that's about it. I have a carbon steering wheel and I mounted my key tuner right here because I don't like to show it when I'm driving. I just kind of hit in it. And it's still on my view but it's not to the view of other guys. I thought about going big turbo, bigger turbo like the MHI or Rampage turbo but um, I talked to my tuner Derek Robinson again one of the best out there basically to a lot of his accords and he i asked him honestly like what do you think about going big turbo and then he asked me do you want to do methanol it was funny because when i was on my final tuning stage i told d-rob if i could have a little bit more boost and his answer was absolutely not to sacrifice the life of the engine 
in terms for a little bit more boost, a little bit more timing, I'm not gonna do that. You can find another tuner if you want for that. So I trusted him. I asked him, I asked him if a bigger turbo was worth it. He said that if you're not gonna do methanol, the perfect setup for your car with E30 would be just a Type R turbo. It's more than enough power. You'll get what you want from it. It's quick. There's no lag in the bottom, and you pretty much have a lot of top end. So. I trusted him and that's what I did, saved my money a little bit and just went with a regular tur Type R turbo instead of going with a bigger turbo. So there's a lot of debate out there right now. A lot of people say, oh, go big turbo. But if you're not really going to do meth, there's no point of doing it. Um, trust your tuner. If you're tuned by D-Rob, he knows what's best for you. So that's it. get a ride along in the Accord. Um, I'm really excited because I have not been in an Accord that's this powerful so I'm really curious to see how it will feel and it's also the 10 speed so that's a new experience for me. Initial thoughts on the Accord 2.0's acceleration, uh, it's really smooth, it, it doesn't feel like you're going as fast as you really are. And then um, also the torque, it does have a build up to it and uh, it feels really good. So we're going to do a few more pulls and hopefully we can get a run against each other. <laughs> We got the two Accords next to each other, so you know what that means. Uh, we're gonna do some a run or two. Uh, we're gonna do 40 roll because uh, both of our cars do well in that um, speed. So he hasn't gone to the dyno yet, so he doesn't have like the official numbers yet. But um, for either Type R's or uh, Accord 2.0s with the Type R Turbo, they make around 380 if they're built similar to his. So he should be somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I think you guys know what my car puts down. It's like 260 wheel and 248 wheel torque. No tune yet, but you guys saw that I'm about to get tuned. So we could change that soon. But for this run, it's going to be those numbers. And uh, I'm a little nervous, but you know, it's always for fun. And uh, I don't mind losing to another Accord. So we're, we're chilling there. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Accord 2.0 T build, but uh, before we close off this video, I want to show you guys a uh, little collaboration that we've done on the channel before, but this time it's for the Miata. It's uh, Basla. It has, they have um, light bulbs for cars. We are going to be replacing the Miatas today. So yeah, we're going to do that real quick. We have Calvin and we're just gonna open it up and see how it looks. So these are the H4 bulbs and it's from the Bullet series. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have the link to Basla, um, the website in the link below. So make sure to check out the video description, but let's get a peek at this and see what it looks like in the packaging. It's looking good, it's looking good. The bulbs are kind of big, honestly. So here's how the bulbs look so far. I know there's still a lot of light outside, but we're filming in the daytime, so we're just gonna have to work with that. This is the stock bulb, and then we're gonna compare it with the Basla. The Basla is on the left, and then that's the stock bulb. They do have a little adapter harness so that you can plug it into older style um, electrical systems, and we're gonna show you that right now. Here's the adapter, like I was saying. So Calvin's gonna show us how it works. That's sick. Dude, shout out Basla, man. They've they've definitely helped out the channel with uh, 
some uh, products over the years and I'm looking forward to working with them um, on a long-term basis but yeah make sure to check out their bulb products and super cool because they have like a splash guard right here yeah so there's a splash guard to uh, kind of prevent water from getting into the system and yeah we're gonna just plug it in and see how it looks this is different man Basla shout out to you guys this is dope he needs a little headlight clearing, but we're chilling there. He hasn't driven the car in months. <laughs> he hasn't driven the car because it's been reft. Shout out to California. All right, so he's gonna plug in the adapter. And then we're gonna see if it turns on. So you gotta tuck some stuff away. All right, try it out. Oh my gosh, it's way brighter, dude. Guys, I know there's still light out here, but you could definitely tell the difference. This is so sick. The Miata finally looks proper. I can't see nothing at night. <laughs> he can't see anything at night, so shout out Basla. Let's get the other one in and then just close out this video. Oh man. Guys, this is a huge difference, man. The car looks crazy. You can see it shining in the garage. You can see it shining in the garage, as he's saying. Yep, you can see it there. Well, yeah, anyways, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Accord 2.0 build. And also, shout out to Basla for providing the bulbs and making the Miata safe to drive again. All right, I'll see you guys in the next upload.